Okay, look, whatever your strategy is, we know that dieting can be hard, but dieting and fitness type apps for your phone could make it easier for you to track your progress. And as school starts, those advertisements for these apps, they're everywhere right now. We join KX HD News reporter Monica Castro in the studio. Monica, turning to apps is becoming a trend now in the fitness world. Matthew, obviously there are pros and cons to apps, but on the positive note, apps help people better track their food intake as well as how much they work out. There's an app for just about anything you can imagine. But the beauty of apps, it's like you have a personal trainer or nutritionist at your fingertips. Apps helping people like Emily Pickle track her progress. I always forget how many reps I do, and so that's really nice that I can like keep track in my phone. You know, the apps provide a great service because it'll help you, it reminds you to work out, it reminds you what you should be doing, it reminds you of, you know, nutritional intake, it reminds you of what you should be eating, shouldn't be eating, how much water to drink. While we live in an app-driven world, I talked to the general manager of Innovative Fitness who shares in her opinion what she believes is a great app that tracks what you eat and how you're exercising. My fitness pal. Um, it has a really nice diary, very comprehensive with the foods that are logged in there so you don't have to look at the ingredient list all the time or the nutritional value list all the time. So, um, and then you can track your exercise. My Fitness Pal is free. Another app called Spark People gives people incentives. You get virtual prizes as you track your Spark points. So that might be a little more motivating for some people. But this app will cost you. However, apps will never replace the knowledge and one-on-one -on -one expertise of a fitness trainer. And they can judge you physically with their own eyes and their own abilities to determine. So I don't think you'll ever lose that aspect. But if you can't afford a personal trainer, an app may be the next best thing. So it's a really cheap and easy way to track your food and um, track your workouts, keeping you motivated to reach your goals. The Brazos Valley Sports Medicine head athletic trainer suggests really reading about the apps to find one that suits your goals. He also suggests that when starting off a workout routine, start off slow in order to avoid injury. Matthew.